You are watching Kit Cabinet and this is the inbox review of the art model and the Ravel F8F Bear Cat in 172nd scale. Okay, for this review I want to compare two Bearcat kits uh, with each other. And this one from Art Model and this one from Ravel, which is actually a reissue of the Monogram Bearcat. And uh, let's have a look how they look next to each other. Okay, this is the Art Model kit, this is the newer one of the two. And when we have a closer look, we can see that it features nice recessed panel lining. So that's an improvement uh, compared to the old uh, Monogram Ravel kit. This one has still has raised panel lines. This one's much older, of course. But if you like directly compare them to each other, you can see that they are actually very much the same in dimensions. And I also compared the model to some drawings. And they, shape wise, the general shape of both kits is very good. So also of this yeah, quite old uh, Ravel kit, shape wise it's still very good. Here, for example, we have the fuselage sprue. Nicely recessed panel lines. The, the detail looks a bit soft, though. There's the, uh, the, the panel lines aren't very crisp, but at least they're recessed. But, well, I've seen, uh, let's say I've seen better short run kits. This uh, art model uh, kit is a short run kit. And again, if we compare this to the older Ravel slash monogram kit they are still very similar and this is the the dash 2 uh, version with the taller tail and uh, the uh, monogram slash uh, Ravel kit has a tail that's like between a dash one and a dash two version so it's not short enough for a dash one and it's not tall enough for a dash two so the tail of this one is a bit awkward and there's some other prominent details that we'll see in a minute and here we have like the elevators also they're very very similar in shape the drop tanks yeah. almost interchangeable so you might expect uh, that the um, art kit has a lot more uh, features uh, better features since it's the the newer kit it's the later release and this comes in the shape of resin parts now the art model kit has some really nice resin parts. There's some nice detail here for the wheel wells, the wheel wells for the for the for the Ravel kit are like totally open. There's no detail whatsoever, and art model uh, provides this uh, resin plug, which looks very good in itself, and also the kit looks very nice on the spruce. But apparently this plug is pretty hard to fit into the wing. So you get all this detail and at first, yeah, at first glance it looks very nice. But actually getting it to fit, that's a different story. The engine looks very nicely detailed. As do the rest of the parts. Uh, have here some rockets. Uh, the resin has a tendency if it's um, 
taken out of the mold too early it has a tendency to bend a bit and you just can't bend it back uh, like uh, styrene it will break so you'll have to heat it a little um, put it in hot water and then hope for the best so that's a bit it's a bit trickier to work with resin whereas it's nicely detailed it's a bit tricky to work with so if uh, uh, the resin parts are like perfect well great but if the fit and like the like here the this 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 rocket somewhat bent if there's things wrong with resin parts then that's pretty tricky to um, to get right now the art model kit also has like a very nice resin cockpit as you can see here and it's very beautifully detailed so if you can get this to fit into your into your bag cat then wow but there's something awkward uh, going on so if you take a closer look let's have a look if it will focus you can see here the uh, the back armor plate with the built-in belts there which has a distinct shape and then here the seat pan with the belt over the seat here it's very nicely detailed very good looking but if you look at the monogram they just provide a, 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 yeah basically a plank <laughs> for the pilot to sit on but if you look at the detail of this yeah plank it looks remarkably similar to this the the, the 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 bend in the in the seat belts is like very much the same so it almost looks as if these people making this very nicely detailed resin cockpit took this part and copied it in there which says a lot about this part the, the, the Ravel kit lacks the rest of the detail but uh, apparently the seat is good enough now if we compare the canopies we have here the Ravel uh, monogram uh, canopy and it looks okay -ish. it's distorting uh, a lot but yeah well it's uh, quite an old kit one thing the the canopy itself is a bit on the small side but well, acceptable maybe so <laughs> not too demanding but what's um, what's more of an issue is that the windscreen the windscreen style was different between the dash 1 and dash 2 and this windscreen looks closer to a dash 1 version I believe the bulletproof windshield is a bit steeper on the uh, dash 1 version and if we look at this one this is uh, the art model canopy which is a bit more uh, to size it's yeah it's not very uh, transparent either it distorts a bit as well but this windshield is like more reminiscent of a dash one as well whereas the box of the art model kit pretends to be a dash two version now both kits feature some really nice decals and this one is from the art model kit you can it's a bit difficult to see because it's like white lettering on white paper uh, but it's there I can assure you and yeah it looks good it's all nicely in register <laughs> I see one uh, nasty thing there this is not how the stars and bars are supposed to look like yeah the Ravel um, decals look very good cartograph good quality nicely in register and I also bought myself some decals from um, from Printscale 
so I can make a Vietnamese version or a French version, Thai version because the rest is all like blue American versions I uh, think I wanted a bit more choice so that's why I bought this uh, sheet so in the end what is the verdict? well the art model kit is the newer kit, it features a lot of um, uh, nicer detail like uh, the recessed panel lines it has the resin parts which um, the Revell monogram kit lacks however the fit of this kit and like the surface quality of uh, the art model kit is a bit debatable so this might very well be a real pick <laughs> to get together actually even with all the detail as it looks on the sprue as as the, the the resin parts look it remains to be seen if this is a, a very easy kit whereas this kit I've built this one before and it's uh, very simple it has a couple of uh, problems like uh, the tail issue which is like dash 1 or dash 2 version so you'll have to do something about that tail but the general shape of this thing is like okay just like this, that one if you want recessed panel lines you'll have to rescribe everything so that would be your choice however if you just want a little kit on the shelf that looks like a bear cat walks like a bear cat and talks like a bear cat this little old kit isn't too bad at all